Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here with Nate's Tech Update. Today the iPhone dev team released Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 5. This application of course will be compatible with all your iOS devices running Beta 5 firmware with the exception of the iPad 2. So if you're interested in jailbreaking your device and you want to get your hands on this program, you can head on over to the iPhone download blog website here. I will provide a link in the description. Simply scroll down here to the bottom and you will see the jailbreak tools and then Red Snow and you can simply download the latest application for your correct operating system. You're also going to need a copy of the iOS 5 Beta 5 firmware. If you're a registered developer, you'll be able to get this through your Apple developer account. If not, and you have your UDID registered, simply head on over to the iModZone download website. Once again, I will provide a link in the description. Head on over to the Beta 5 firmware and download the corresponding one for your device. You're probably going to want to save that firmware somewhere that's easily accessible. I would recommend the desktop. That's where I have mine. And we can go ahead and run this application. So first, we're going to browse for the firmware. I have it on my desktop. And we'll wait for it to process. Once that's all finished up, we can press next and it will prepare the jailbreak data. Okay, so you're going to want to check install Cydia. And before we go ahead and jailbreak, I wanted to remind you of two things. First, this is a tethered jailbreak, meaning that whenever you turn off your device, in order for it to work again when you turn it back on, you're going to have to rerun Red Snow. Secondly, if you plan on updating to Beta 6, which will come out in the next maybe week, week and a half over the air, you, um, it will not be compatible if your, jailbro if your device is jailbroken. So you're simply just going to want to restore your device through iTunes before you can um, commence the over the air update. So we can go ahead and press next. And the first thing you're going to want to do is plug your iOS device into your computer. Then we're going to go ahead and turn it off like I am doing on camera. Just wait for that to turn off. Okay, once that is finished turning off, you can press next and we're going to put the device into DFU mode. You can do this by holding down power for 3 seconds, holding down um, the power and home button for 10 seconds, and then you can release the power button and continue holding home. And once you see that it's exploding with lime rain, you can go ahead and let go. So we'll just wait for this process to finish up here. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so it's now done. So what we're going to do now is just wait for all this data to finish up here loading onto my device, and then I'll show you what you have to do next. Okay, so when the process of jailbreaking your device has finished, it will reboot like this, and you will see the Cydia icon is here, but it will un be unable to open because this is a tethered jailbreak. So we're going to go ahead and head back over to the desktop and rerun the Red Snow application. Okay, so we're back over here at the computer again. I'm going to go ahead and browse for the firmware. It will process it, and when it's identified, we can press next, and it will prepare the jailbreak data once again. And when that's all finished up, we'll arrive at this screen. This time, you're going to want to press Just Boot Tethered right now, and then we'll press next. And once again, you're going to want to plug in your iDevice, and then you're going to want to simply power it off. And we'll wait for that to finish up again. And then when that's done, we can go ahead and press next. And we'll put it into DFU mode by holding the power button for 3 seconds. Holding home and power for 10 seconds. And then release power and continue holding the home button. And then when the exploding with lime rain comes up, you can let go.
Okay, so it's done uh, here on the computer. We'll just wait for the device to reboot and then I'll show you that Cydia is working. Okay, so my device has in fact rebooted now. We'll open it up, scroll on over, and we'll see the Cydia icon. Go ahead and click on that and you'll see it is working now. We'll choose user and done and we'll let it load up. So that is how to jailbreak your iOS device running iOS 5 Beta 5. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.